borderline personality disorder. Hello, gentlemen and ladies. Today I was a total female. At least I felt like it. I'm sure the men out there with BPD can relate to this, where you find yourself just totally going emotional. Don't get me wrong, I'm not horribly sexist, but I am. I was raised that women are emotional. I, I've always been taught that women are emotional and that men are not. It's just the way I was raised. Men are not supposed to show emotion. Men are supposed to be the strong ones. Nothing phases them. They are ruled by logic. Women, on the other hand, are emotional and are totally ran by their emotions. So they're always going to freak out. Having BPD makes you a very emotional man. At least it makes me a very emotional man. <laughs> I believe that is one of the reasons why I don't date or have a girlfriend or hang out with people. I don't go out much. I don't hang out with many people. I have one friend. I pretty much just stick to that one. It makes it really easy because he's well trained. Or maybe we're both trained. We've been friends long enough and we've been through enough crap that we can communicate and we can work through things. I mostly understand the things that'll set him off. He mostly understands the things that'll set me off. If I could get around the whole penis thing, we'd be the perfect couple. He is my heterosexual life mate. My heterosexual life mate has gone up and gotten himself a lady friend. That puts me on the back burner. We didn't have much time to hang out before, but now that he's got the lady friend, guess who he wants to hang out with most of the time? I'm going to tell you, it's not the guy with the penis. It's the lady with the vagina. I don't know if, those, if that has anything to do with it. I'm thinking it does. Well, I can sit around like a loser, just wishing that I could hang out with him. Or I, too, could go and... Find someone else to hang out with, hopefully make him jealous when he sees me hanging out with other people. Then he'll know how much he miss. I mean, let's back it up. I can also go and hang out with other people. I mean, come on. I don't just have to hang out with this one person. I got a hold of a person. We were communicating. Things were going fairly well. It got to a point where we were going to meet up and go hang out. Maybe have a bonfire or something. Point was, I was going to get out of the house and nobody was going to know where I was. I wasn't going to tell nobody. I was just going to disappear. I never do that. It would add mystery. Because I'm broke as shit. I don't have a cell phone or nothing. So when I leave the house, communication with me ends. This individual was coming to pick me up, and we were off to go have a fun time. To make it easy for them, I was going to just walk down the street a little ways and meet them at the convenience store. Everything was perfect and timed out. I left, I went to the convenience store, where I then waited outside for over an hour. There was no traffic. This is a small town. Four cars maybe passed me, and they were all going the opposite direction. This individual, no cars came from their direction. Maybe there's an accident or something, I wondered. Well, after waiting for over an hour, I decided, screw it, there's no way that somebody can be this late. I went back home. Well, this individual had decided to change plans after I'd left the house. Did they know that I didn't have communication after leaving the house? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. But they decided to radically change the plan and just go do something else. Oh, screw you. We don't want to hang out with you anymore. You know what it makes me think? I was being used. They had no one else better to hang out with. I was desperate. So they were going to hang out with me, but then somebody else called them up and it's like, well, yay, now I can hang out with somebody I really want to. 
They had sent me a message on Messenger stating that they apologized, but somebody had called, they need to go help them out. It's a bunch of bullshit. They would get a hold of me later today and we'd go do something. Bullshit. Were they going to get together with me? Later on? Irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? Well, because they probably don't want to talk to me anymore. I went ahead and I pulled a total chick move. I'll be here pretty much all night. Hey man, me again. I was just taking a whiz. Thought you might have called. Okay, later. We're having ourselves quite a little game of bow tag here. <laughs> I was just blow drying my hair. Uh, thought I heard the phone ring. That ever happened to you? Anyway, call me. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Steven, I think your machine is... Within the span of 10 minutes, I had sent them 15, yes, 15 messages on Messenger ranging from I will never forgive you, to burn in hell, to how dare you, none of them were good. Then I stopped myself and I, I decided not to send any more texts. That lasted for about 20 minutes because I was pissed. I mean, they stood me up. It made me angry. It also made me just want to immediately go do a bunch of drugs. They got me so happy, excited, I was going to hang out with somebody. I have this fear of abandonment, rejection, and what do they do? They abandon me and then reject me at the same time. So that's why I don't hang out with people. That's why I don't care to. Because stuff like that happens and it puts me into an emotional downward spiral where I really wanted to do drugs. I was calling people up. I was begging people to give me drugs. Sadly, nobody had any drugs. And it was because of the pain I was feeling. And I just wanted the drugs to make it instantly go away. And breathing exercises and all of that. It might work over the course of time, hours, whatever. But it doesn't work instantaneous. Some methamphetamine, boom, instant, feel better. So it's safer for me not to try to venture out of my just normal bubble, just to stick with the one friend, even though I think he's going to dump me for a vagina. So for all you norms out there that might know somebody with BPD, try to remember that if there's ever a time when you're just thinking of changing plans radically. And for all of you with BPD, maybe reconsider having friends because they will just cause you pain and misery. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Let me know in the comments section what you all think. I would like to uh, do a special shout out and thank you for everybody yesterday. I put out a very emotional message about how we needed to get the subscriber numbers up and stuff. And I want to thank all of you that responded by unsubscribing. I appreciate it. Way to let me know you enjoy what I'm doing. For everybody that's not a prick, that has not yet subscribed, right now is that opportunity. Hit the subscribe button. We're going for 500, 1,000, 5,000 subscribers. I'm taking over the world, one subscriber at a time. Even if you unsubscribed, you'll be back. So might as well join us. Stop fighting it. We are going to be a cult. It's just the way it is. Until next time, keep on keeping on.
you fucking fuckers.